Hi right, guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be playing Friday the 13th. I'm here with my friend Xander. Xander, say hello. Xander, say hello. Never mind. Okay. We're, we're trapped at Kissington. Oh, let's go real. into this shack and see what we can find. This is going to be a video on the top 10 tips of how not to get killed in Friday. Okay. So the 10th, the, t the first tip that you should know is you always want to try and find a map. The map is very useful because it is very good at locating things on the map. For example, if you pick up a car part or part that is essential to your escape and drop it, I don't know how I drop it. How do I drop things? Never mind. If you drop it, other people on the map can see where it is, as you can see. Step two. You want to make sure that the Jason you're playing against is not a complete tryhard. You can usually find this out by going around and not dying. You want to make sure you try and repair the car as much as possible, and you want to try and make sure you're playing as a character, such as Chad, or Tiffany, who have high stamina and high repair. I'm not gonna lie. Basically, when you run as Tiffany, it does it does sound like she's getting anal, and it's just not there. Number seven. The seventh tip is you want to make sure that Jason you're playing against doesn't know where you are. You don't want to do anything too major, like swim in the water or run around without needing to. And that way, Jason won't see where you are on the map and it'll be a bit easier to not be found by him. Number six. On the map, you can see where Jason is if he's nearby. This will be symbolised by a red triangle thing. Number six. Or oh, did I already do this? Number six? Number, all right, let's just go to number five. Number five, you want to make sure that you want to help other people. You could do this by using a med spray on them and by trying not to pop them out of windows. But make sure that unless you're playing as a character with high stamina, you don't want to get too physical with Jason because he will most likely catch you. Okay, number four. Number four is when Jason's breaking through the door and you have a weapon, you can stand at the door and when he breaks through, you can hit him through the door. That's cool. So let's test that. So on that, if you hit Jason when he breaks through the door, try and hit him and show and show the viewers what happens. You can also hit him sometimes through the window if you're good enough. Let's wait for him to try and break through the door. Oh, oh, he's left. Wait, where has he gone? Oh, he's come in. He's coming in through the other door. The other... Vanessa didn't... Okay. Number three. We need to make sure that when someone's been grabbed by Jason, if they don't have a pocket knife, try and make sure that you can hit them, and then that way you save them and they can eventually help you. The number two tip is don't mess around with Jason. If you're like running close to him and then running further away to try and troll him, you don't want to do that because it's not funny. Jason will get pissed off and it doesn't help. As you can see, Jason is chasing me around and getting angry at the fact that I'm trolling him. Okay, this is not good. Okay, this is, this is my final tip. This is a really good tip. You want to make sure you never hide in closets or beds. It's very likely that Jason will find you and you are likely to get killed. When you are in a bed or closet, you will always, if Jason finds you, it will automatically kill you. And for an extra tip, always make sure you have pocket knives. They're very useful. But thanks for watching this stupid video of me talking randomly. Hope you survive on Friday and don't get your budget.